Hey YouTube, this is Nick Theos with Michelson Yachts and I am aboard the latest greatest 2023 Michelson 59 Nomad. The boat is here at our docks in San Diego. She's all finished up, but she'll be at our docks through the end of 2022. If you're one of the select few that are uh, looking for a boat like this, we would love to have you down and uh, love to build you one or there are a couple of really good uh, late model used ones on the market. But right now we're gonna take you for a tour of this boat. Come on aboard. Okay, so into the cockpit. Let's talk about what really, really matters on this boat. Range um, and uh, capability to travel a long distance. Down here, center of the cockpit, I've got a 600 gallon aft fuel tanks. Forward, I have twin 700 gallon fuel tanks, 2,000 gallons of fuel on the, uh, on the 59 foot version. Here's that fuel tank. This is fuel. This is one of my two water tanks. This is my upper uh, 200 gallon water tank. It'll gravity feed to my forward 200 gallon water tank. Uh, make things real simple. This tank will also do gravity feed forward as well. The uh, fuel management simple is really simple on this boat for a, you know, for a 60 foot boat that can go a long, long way. Over here, here's my starboard lazarette. Inside here, removable dive ladder. That clips on the transom. There's also a flip down step lower on the, on the hull. Make it real easy to get out of the out of the uh, out of the water when you're swimming diving. 17 and a half kW generator here on the starboard side, and all kinds of lazarette storage. These guys, the rest of ice machines down there, dive compressors down there. Can't have enough storage on a boat, especially a long range boat. Okay, continuing with the cockpit. Built-in transom bait tanks. These are enormous. Two sides, you can separate your bait. You need a lot of bait with the kind of range this boat has. Uh, now we're done fishing, end of the day. We're going into cocktail table mode. A couple, uh, couple chairs around this. I've also got a, a table up on the lanai deck. Great entertaining boat as well. Tackle center here. Of course, the big propane barbecue with a hood. Uh, rocket launchers across here. They're up right now. I'm in fishing mode, I want them lower. I can drop them down. Really, really slick. Now I'm done fishing, I want them out of my way. Boom, up out of the way. We talked about fishability and range, but let's talk about why guys buy Michelson's because of the customization. This Nomad has one of the coolest layouts I think we've done. It's got these really cool stainless steel triple doors. I can open the whole thing up to this great lanai deck. I got a high-low table here. It's in dinette mode. I go up to bar top mode. I got an ice maker here, the barbecue. There's a pull-out trash can over here. I got speakers everywhere. The boat sounds great. And I can take the salon TV. I can swing it out this way and everybody can watch the game from out here. It's really, really a cool feature. And you know, we're here to have fun on our boats as well, right? Okay, so stepping inside the salon, we have this great feel with the doors we talked about. I'm in here, there's four air conditioners on the boat, two of them dedicated just to the salon. You know how I've got these doors open. Uh, very comfortable in here but I've got this great feel with the outside. On this layout, again, these are all custom, but we did a uh, nice big L set T to a port over here. This comes up, rod storage in there. Going over here to uh, starboard. This is gonna be a little bar area. We don't have any booze yet, but it's coming. Uh, storage, a couple chairs, another ice maker. A couple steps up to the galley. When I'm up in this galley, it's still wide open. I got windows forward, got windows all around. The whole back end of the boat's open. Uh, up galley version. Plenty of storage. My favorite feature so far. 
the magnet and the butcher knives. Uh, a little overhead extra storage, but it's done well so it doesn't cut off your, uh, your view and your sight line. Fisher Piquel, uh, French door style opening, uh, opening refrigerator. Freezer below, another freezer upstairs, we'll get there. Dinette across, this drops down, makes another bed. Uh, again, we're up here, all these windows, it's wide open. Okay, and then we've got forward of the uh, of the galley is our is our pilot house downstairs. Um, nice big dash, two 24 inch screens here. I've got cameras in the uh, Lanai deck. There's Aaron. Uh, there's engine room cameras. You can put all the cameras you want on these. You build one of these, you, you know, obviously you pick your electronics, you pick your layout on the dash. Um, he did Garmin with these two big uh, 24 inch screens. This looks great. Um, two stud helm seats. And downstairs to a extremely impressive master stateroom. Okay, stepping into the master stateroom, this is full beam. It's the most comfortable place you can be on this boat. Nice big berth. Cool feature, we added a, uh, a Garmin repeater down here. Owner can always just roll over, take a look, make sure it's not dragging anchor, something's going on. Plenty of storage. Big, big head here, starboard side. Beautiful countertops. Big shower, if you look in there, there's also speakers on the ceiling in there, and there's a towel warmer for those cold nights in Mexico. Head, nice big TV, more speakers, boat sounds great. Coming up here through the companionway, we've done a lot of different stuff on the Nomads. This is a cool mid-stateroom. That's a real double down there aft, right there. And I've got a single, single, and single. And it looks like this one, looks like this one will flip up and go away. So if you do just have a couple in here, they've just got a nice big bed with uh, with storage over here. Stepping across from our port side bunk room, we've got the guest head. There's a pocket door, big shower, more beautiful countertops, toilet in there. And then forward is our VIP stateroom. Big, generous double berth, bunch of storage, overhead hatch. That's our accommodations forward. Let's uh, let's see what else we can find. Okay, we just came back upstairs. We're walking through the pilot house. There's a sliding door on the port side. Out to the Portuguese bridge. We've got these wing stations we've talked about that are fantastic. I've got engine controls. I've got a whistle here, bow thruster. And this controls my rudders, um, so I can steer up here as well. Another station over here to the starboard side, the exact same. Walk through the Portuguese bridge door. Look at this big, wide open foredeck. I can fish up here. And I've also got these nice two lounge chairs for when we're cruising when we're down in Mexico. Great, great area on the boat. Okay, we're upstairs on the boat deck. I've got a probably 13 foot Zodiac tender up here. S1000 auto rotate cabin over there on the port side to launch it. When this is gone, this is all big open usable space. We've got a big storage locker here. And as we go forward, really cool area. We've got a helm station up here. But mainly, mainly this is a hangout area. I got a chase lounge up here when I'm in Mexico and it's nice. I've got my speakers cranking up here. Uh, guys are up in the tower looking for fish, having a beer at the end of the day. We added this top load freezer that's mainly just for this trip. Um, what a cool area to hang out in. Some guys will add a bimini top up here uh, if they're going to spend more time up here in Mexico. It's really just a cool place to enjoy the boat um, and hang out while you're fishing or while you're cruising. Okay, uh, we're back in the cockpit. We're gonna take it down to the crew quarters in the engine room. 
Uh, well, Sam had a comment on one of his videos that the engines were, were noisy on Nomads. We've got the engines running right now. It's a silent hum when we're back here. Very, very incorrect. This is how you open this door. Lift this up. Open this. And we'll head down. Okay, down in the crew quarters. Uh, two single berths down here. And your uh, laundry area. Uh, dryers on this side. Washers over here on the starboard side. I got rod storage up above. We got a lot of different things in here as well with uh, you know freezers and making them shops. This has got two berths in here. Forward to this diamond sea glazed door. Engine room. We did turn the engines off to shoot down here. It is noisy inside here. Uh, these are two QSC 600 Cummins, the standard motor on the uh, Michelson Nomad. Let's see, we've got our, our Westmar Reservoir for our fin stabilizers. We've got a water heater behind the exhaust riser. There's a uh, water filter and UV light system for all your fresh water. Um, start stops on the engines, Raycor fuel filters, there's duals on each side. Got a little bench here, got a vise right here that looks like they're going to install here for when it's, uh, when it's a little shop down here. My uh, main engine C strainer. Oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, that's the uh, uh, air conditioning C strainer. Across here, I've got a blue water water maker. One of the house batteries and battery switches. More house batteries. Great engine room. I'm six feet tall. I'm standing up right here. Uh, the coolers in this boat are going to last forever. So when I get done, we've talked about this in past videos. Oh, there we go. There's the valve. So when he gets done running, he's going to fill each of these cooling systems with fresh water so there's not salt in there decaying everything. Well, YouTube, thank you for going on this tour of this 2023 Michelson 59 Nomad. This is Nick Fias from Michelson Yachts. I hope you'll give us a call. Come down and see us. I would love to walk you through this boat and uh, give you more information. Again, uh, thanks for going on the tour. We'll see you soon.